I have a copy here of the Higramantia, uh, or the Magical Treaties of Solomon. It's the true ancestor of the Key of Solomon, uh, translated and edited by Ioannis Malathakis. There is a foreword by Dr. Skinner, and this is a Golden Horde publishing. It's the eighth volume in the um, in the magical, uh, sorry, in the source wor source works of ceremonial magic, um, and. Yeah, it's a very interesting volume. Um, the Hegromantea, really, it's it's uh, about fifteen different copies that uh, that are currently known, uh, all obviously containing slight variances, um, and uh, Ioannis Marathakis has been through all of them and um, presented his findings on what they what they say in in this in this volume the in total you've got about 350 odd pages um, and he's presented it in in the way that okay so past the introduction um, he goes into each individual chapter um, and he starts each chapter by talking about in which of the manuscripts this particular chapter is found. And he talks about the, um, the differences uh, uh, between, between the various chapters. So um, <clears throat> he also talks about the different um, uh, information <laughs> uh, or conflicting information depending on the on the version um, that says so put all, the, all of that into tables I'm not personally um, the, the, there's only one thing I'm not very fond of uh, other than the fact that it's a golden horde book and I, I don't particularly like the way their books look um, but uh, but that's that's nothing to do with the contents uh, what I I'm not a big, big fan of is that there's no real separation between his notes and the contents of the, that particular chapter. So um, you see over here you have a description of where this section exists. Um, so these are all um, shortened, uh, it's shorthand for, the, for, for, the, for whatever versions. Um, describes the construction and consecutive consecration of seven metallic images blah 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 so he's this is clearly meta text it's clearly notes and then here uh, he's talking about well he, it's a transliteration of what can be found in that particular section I think I would have preferred if he'd I don't know how he could have done it better to be honest <laughs> so maybe it's not really fair of me to say that I don't like the way it's done. I, I just, I feel it may be nice to have it in a different font, uh, to just to get a feel for what what are his thoughts or his notes and what's the contents that should, um, well, that the notes are about, really. I, I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, um but then once again, Golden Horde are not known for uh, their attention to presentation. <laughs> um, yeah, so of course, lots and lots of tables. Uh, color pictures, yeah, and and that is something that is uh, that's quite quite nice. The the quality of the pictures is acceptable. Uh, it's uh, it's not the nicest of paper, um, but um, but yes, as you can see, the the quality of the uh, of the illustrations, the scans, is fine. But you know, it's um, it it feels like. It, okay, I'll tell you what it feels like. It feels like a big word document, and they've just slapped the pictures in, um, <laughs> uh, in in the middle of the page, wherever they 
wherever it was needed, right? That there's having having had uh, the joy of uh, of seeing so many beautifully presented esoteric books uh, by. I mean, you've seen the the books by Ouroboros Press. You've seen the books um, by uh, Joseph Uccello. Um, uh, I'll be presenting more books uh, in the near future with uh, with beautiful presentation and and yeah here presentation is um, it's an it's it's an afterthought if that <laughs> I'd say there's no thought into the presentation whatsoever. Um, however, the information is fascinating. I mean, you can you can see that. There is plenty there. Um, and you can probably also tell uh, how the um, how the clavis, how the key of Solomon was um, clearly inspired uh, by the information here. Um, if we move a little further towards the back, we have um, there's a Few, a few scans. The various talismans. So clearly, talismanic magic. Very, very, uh, very clavis. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, nice, uh, nice table showing which chapter appears in what manuscript. Nice bibliography, a very short index, uh, just a couple of pages. There we go. Okay, so that's it, the Higramantea. Uh, here's a little um, biography of uh, Ioannis Marathakis. We're certainly very lucky to to have had him uh, around to um, to translate these texts. Um, what's interesting is that uh, this does point to a Greek origin, uh, or maybe a Greco-Egyptian origin to uh, the Key of Solomon, rather than a Hebrew origin. Um, but, uh, but yeah, then again, who who can say? Um, there we go. So that's my review of the Higra Um It it's it's really it's it's very interesting to read. Okay, um, I just wish that it looked a bit better than a straight HTML text printed onto pa onto onto paper. Um, so yeah, there we go. Th those are my thoughts. Thanks very much for watching as usual. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching again. Take care, bye.